I'm trying to remember where I left you kids off. Oh, I remember where you were. It was a circular room. And we were yeah, going to go investigate it. Okay. You are right here. There we go. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you're in a room like this. You guys come in here on the bottom edge of this right here. Yep. Right. I know it makes sense. And so, uh, hmm. So you do know that there's a door, okay? Mm -hmm. You can see the way the thing's kind of laid out. It's a circular chamber. There's nothing, no sounds, no nothing. It's really clean. It's clean as a tomb, right? As you walk through the whole thing. You okay. don't really notice um, anything out of order, anything that's going on. Um, we look up. What's what's a, what's above us? Okay, it's about 10 foot tall, smooth stone all the way around. Okay. You could tell it was cut out of rock. But wow. it, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Okay. I mean, well, back in the day, back in the day, like magic users, what they would do, if you want to know what's going on, they used to be hired to blast and and transmute rock to get it to look like this very smooth thing. Not or they get dwarves to carve it out. Either way, I, that's why those things. And from what you can see, he was some kind of dwarven fighter dude. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Um, Clearly, you know there's an, something over this way. That's your layout. Sure. Um, well, Gru's in the lead with his uh, um, with his minion. Um, right. Well, um, shall we go look at that door and see if there's anything inscribed on it? Yeah. Okay. So we, we wander over. Oh, and by the way, um, just let me know whenever the thief wakes up. <laughs> oh yeah, Mr. Brokeyhan. Yeah, Lamion's uh, strapped to the back of the paladin. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. that sucks. Okay, but he's asleep. Right. Yeah, he's. Tired. And I don't think there's anything we can do to wake him up for um, uh, another what, forty-five minutes? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's funny they don't have like an awake spell. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> but, and even if they did, no, it's I don't just weird it. that they don't. They got that, but they don't have a wake. You have sleep, yeah. have a wake. Let me see something. I gotta go to. Uh, I gotta click the schmucky thing here. All right. Schmucky. Oh. oh, good. We are so good right now. Nice. So as you can, as you can imagine, I mean, I can kind of put this together ahead of us a little bit but I, you actually don't need it for this but let me go back to um, what you're looking at so the door itself doesn't have anything inscribed on it except for one symbol Ooh. looks like a glyph there's um it's a circle with a dot in it circle with a dot in it yeah, yeah. so yeah. if I was to Illustrate it. Go. Go. Nice. I okay, everything worked so well for me today. Why are you not working? Can we uh, try to use our intellect and see if we know what a circle with a dot means? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm sorry. So if you sure. want to do that, that, of course, would be a check if you want to sure. uh, figure this thing out. So it's actually going to be a little hard. Who wants to do it? Um, I'll let Callus try. He's got an 18 intelligence. So he gets a plus 50-50. He's going to understand what it stands for. All right. So i got to roll a 1, 2, or 3. A 1, 2, or 3. Yay. See how easy that is. Okay. And he rolls a 4. Be serious. Okay. Yeah, I'm serious. Did you not do you it. say no information off of the actual thing. You just, you know, you know, it's some kind of, it's a glyph meaning something. You're really not sure what it is. All right. Yeah. Well, um, do the dwarves want to give a try at it? Maybe it's a dwarven thing. They can try. What is their, uh, uh, what's your intelligence? Group. Twelve. Well, it's a, it's gonna be a one six out of you. 
You can try. Roll one. Roll one. See if you can roll one out of two. You might get it. Go, brew. Hold on. I have to join the room. Dale's is also a, a 12, I think. Yeah, Dale's is a 12. Could you could you send a link? Oh, to the this thing? Yeah. Rolls? Yeah. Here you go. Okay. Nice. Roll up, see if you hit a one. Oh, so close. He knows that the circle means something is trapped inside. Oh, oh, oh. He got real close, but he can't read it totally, but he knows that circle probably maybe means the room. Like it's a circle. Yeah. Right? So that's okay. kind of what that's what Gru's saying. You want to give it a try with the other guy? Dale, what's his sure. Dale will roll. Dale's got the same intelligence, so he's got a right. one out of six. He's got a high wisdom, but not. Hey! Oh, no. It's the thing stands for trapped soul. It's a trapped soul inside. All right. Well, we're looking for a um, spell to raise the dead. Uh. Um, well, Gru, shall we, um, release a trap soul? <laughs> uh, I don't... I don't know if it's gonna be good. I don't, I don't think we should. <laughs> Gru's like, I don't think we should. After, 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 after the shadows? Well, <laughs> well, we know that there's something here. We can just mark this place and go adventure on. And if if it's not what we're, if what we're looking for isn't ever anywhere else, then it's got to be in this in this in this room, right? Yeah. Because we're here to get a raised dead spell. All right. Okay. Um. But if this is what we need to get. I don't know. Um, let's see, a trapped soul. What could that be? It could be. We've already dealt with shadows. Oh, uh, could be a wraith. That wouldn't be good. I don't. I don't, I don't think we could. We could handle a wraith. Um, all right, we will, we will let this be for now, Sir, go around the circle thing and go up to this other door over here. Okay. So when you get to there, okay, yeah. uh, you can obviously tell it goes somewhere. Right. Oh, no. Wrong number. The wrong button. I think just another. Yes. Oh. Holy moly. Okay. Well, um, so, well, Lamia's not in front, it's Gru in front. Right. Now, so, what do we see in the room? Uh, it looks like there's four columns that you see, right? Mm -hmm. And you see, from the looks of it, you have um, a stone sarcophagus. 
in the middle. Mm -hmm. And it looks like things for porkless. You want? Know I mean, from what you can tell, down but, in the um, on the one edge, it makes like a teeth. Sure. So, and is the porticolis closed or is it open? Right now, it's open. Oh. Dale says, uh, "What do you bet when we touch the sarcophagus, the porticolis comes down?" <laughs> Who, who's in front right now? It's Gru. Gru and Dale yeah. around him. It's because it's it's Gru and the, his armor, and then Dale. Because remember our our order before was Land We On, Gru, Dale, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Callus, and Greg. Okay. We have the dwarven shields up up front right now. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna invite you guys to go into Schmeppy. Yep. All right. Scroll down. Here we are, right there. Okay. Gotcha. Um. Okay. Well. Do we see any, there's no beings in here that we see? Nothing from what you can see, guys. Gotcha. Of course, there's always nothing, right? Yeah. There was something, then that would be pretty obvious what you should do next, right? But there's never anything right in front of you, right? Well. How brutal. Group, let's go investigate the sarcophagus. Yeah. But we're not going to touch it. <laughs> We're gonna go look at it. Just look at it with our eyes. All right, you can see uh, the outside of the sarcophagus is charred black. Oh. Okay. Is there any writing on it? Uh, so scribbles, scratches. It's really kind of weird looking. Yeah, it's um. It's. It looks like some kind of magical, like, glyphs all around the outside of it. Maybe housing that's supposed to be in there. You can't really tell. I mean, it's kind of a mess. I think that uh, one of your crew member, this is this once again would be a hard task. So, being hard, it'd be um, three out of six for your man, uh, Callus. Callus. Will try to decipher, right? Callus. Yeah, Callus will try to decipher it. Roll low, the better. You Roll got it. Better. A two! Yay! Yeah, this he figures out that the whole sarcophagus is is holding back something from the other world, okay? And that people died putting the stone part on top. Gotcha. So that's yeah. holding something because back. Because it has a list of names that are sort of written. Mm -hmm. Like, whatever it was that was put in here was clearly... <laughs> It was forced in. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so, uh, that's a, but, but again, we're looking for this scroll to raise the dead. True. And there was treasure in the other sur sur sarcophagus. Yeah. But to me, this one looks a lot more ominous than the round room. Oh, <laughs> yes, by far. <laughs> But you know, there's more to this place. Just letting you yes. know. That, I mean, you're just looking at a couple of grave sites. It's a right. black grave. There's more than obviously one sarcophagus. We don't know. You actually don't know how many yet, right? Yeah. That's that's very very true. All right. So I guess the question, uh, Mason, is: Do you want to disturb any of these, or do you want to continue looking to see what what else is around? We should keep looking to see okay if there's an, and then come back to this if we can't find it all right um can the dwarves their dwarves are pretty good at looking at traps can we see right. if this protocolus is going to come down on top of us uh from what they yeah you want to ask you, you boys give a give a roll on that one okay i it, it's a four out of six you wouldn't be able to figure out how this thing works Oh, there I you got go. A, I got a four. 
Okay, Gru, you roll. The better you guys roll, the better more information I give you. Okay, uh, Gru's a little confused by it, but uh, he says it looks like if there's a trapping mechanism, it's coming from the other direction. So it doesn't look like it's on this side. He does see a lever, okay, just to kind of let you know. There is a lever that is over on this side that's an mm -hmm. upward position, and he believes that that's what's actually holding this up. Like, you can open and close it on this side, but there's probably not a way to do it from this side. Oh. So maybe it's the portacolis comes down when the door gets opened. Interesting. Okay. Get out, get out somewhere. Get out of my... All right. Well, um, you know... All right. Um, well, let's let's if we're not going to open this thing up. Um, I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mason, do you want to go un through the portacolis or underneath it and out this door and see if we trigger this thing closing, or do you? You want to go the more safe route and go through the secret door and back around the way that we came. Uh, I think we should pull the lever and okay. try to go through the. Well, the lever is actually it's it's open right now. This is what I think is going to happen, and I could be wrong. I think that when someone opens up the door, the main door to this place. The portacolis comes down. I could be wrong. And then, because of the levers on the other side, you gotta then go through that other room. You know, then the round room, then through the other secret door to lift the portacolis up, so you can get through. Um, I think there's some trigger mechanism on the other side, whether it's a plate on the floor or it's the door, something. But you know what we could do, if you want to get real adventurous, we could send somebody over the other side to walk to the door and um, then see if um, and the rest of us stay here. And if it closed down, it'll go down, then we can use the lever to pull it back up. We could use the armor to go. Hey! That's a great idea. All right, send send the armor over to, to, to the door. <laughs> Forgot about that guy, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so as the guy walks, all right, I don't know if you want a name for him. Do you have a name for the armor guy? Thing one? Thing one, okay. <laughs> we should probably put him on here. We don't have a token for him. Okay, let's do that, all right? So what's his, what's his name? Oh, no, uh, Mason can name him. It's his guy. Armor person. You know what you should call him? I got a good name for him, Mason. Ready? Ready? His name's AC. His name's ACDC. You like that? We'll call him AC. All right. He's your man. Oops, didn't even do that. All right, AC's right there. You gonna send him in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and drag him in. Okay. Down to the. Is, yeah. Wait, is, is this the door or is the door down here? There. Okay, that's it. Okay, so when that happened, sure enough, okay, Um, just as Rue figured out, looking at this. It uh, a porticlist comes down and it seals him on the other side. Hmm. And nothing stirs in the thing. Well, the door in front of him is still closed. You see? Look. Yeah. There's a door right there. That's still closed. Yeah. All right. Huh. Okay. Now let's try the lever. <laughs> okay. When you take the lever, pull the lever up. Um, sure enough. It, uh, 
opens up. Oh, nice. Okay. So, can we get him to open the door too now and see what happens? I don't. It, what do you guys want to do, Mason? Can you can you get him to open the door? Yeah. <sighs> okay. So you go to open the door, mm -hmm. right? You go ahead and get this. This will be interesting. You're actually going a little backwards into this thing, but that's what makes D and D fun, right? Um, all right, let me take that out of the way. Your edge machine. Okay. That's what you see. It actually opens up into like sort of a hallway, but it turns. Oh. Okay. Well, let's form up on AC. And we will um, check out that hallway. Okay, so, we'll move around. <laughs> all right. So, are you going to go first with AC, and Dale will be behind yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. And then Callus, and then um, Greg. And then, of course, Lamweon strapped his back. I don't know if you want me to just leave Lamweon off right now or just or pull, put Lamweon yeah, off. We can pull him to the side because he's asleep. Let's pull him over. Whoop, sorry. We can grab him and just pull him off of the map area. We just assume that he's, he's okay. not like moving right now. Gotcha. Yeah, that's fine. All okay. right. So what does this little hallway look like? It's like uh, it's 10. 10 by 10 kind of hallway 10 by 10 it's like a cube hallway right 10 by 10 by 10 is the height of the ceiling goes in makes an abrupt turn mm -hmm. and you see some actually you start to smell something before you see something Ooh. right undead huh undead are you sure i don't know you said we're smelling things zombie flush oh there's something Uh oh. Yeah, there is something. Yeah. Right in front of you. Okay. And it is starting to slowly move towards your direction. What is the something? Oh, uh, let me see if I got a picture. That always helps, right? No, oh, wait. No, wait. That was from the other day. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. There we go. Whoa. Undead. <laughs> the undead. All right. Three of them. Trafficking Dale's, towards you. Dale's going to try to turn them. All right. This will be great. He hasn't had a chance to do this in a while. Like ever. All right. So they're so zombies, the right? Yeah, they are, but they're special. Oh, crap. Yeah, uh, okay. Special. So what's well, your current... What do you have to roll to turn them right now? Right now, he's level two. Yeah. And so to turn a zombie, he has to roll a eight or or higher on a 20-sided die. Yeah, this these guys are a little stronger, so it's probably going to be like a 10. Okay. All right. And you have to roll for each one because right. they're acting autonomously. So just, you got to roll, roll the, tens and higher. You roll the 20 sided die? 20 sided dice, roll 10. You roll you got three dice. 50 50 times 50, higher. Right. 11. That's one. That's two. two. Three. three. Oh, lucky you. All right. These guys, Um, what did I just do? I want to undo that. Let's go back down to here. Let's grab my tokens. They hiss mm -hmm. and they move out of the way off into the darkness. Oh. Away from you as much as possible. Awesome. 
That was very effective. That was incredibly effective. I know. It's the first time he's got to use that skill since we started playing, right? Well, yeah, with the shadows, it didn't work. You no. Know, great. Okay. Technically speaking, they say shadows aren't really dead. Yeah. That might be an issue, but I don't know. Okay. Yay. Well, that looking? worked. Well, let's continue adventuring. Okay. Go for it, Gru. Okay. So... Should we have the armor move first? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Then let's... Yeah, I guess we'll just go down here. Okay. So what's down here? Okay. Um, keep in mind... The, the armor, it is sort of autonomous, but you can't see what it sees. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Makes so you're sense. gonna, there's, it kind of turns, there's like a wall and the whole thing kind of makes a turn and starts going the other direction. Okay. I mean, you can see it ahead and I can tell you whether it's clang, clang, things are happening, but <laughs> you kind of got there and started to see where he was at. No, I think what we're, but I think Gru's gonna, Gru and Dale are going to go with the armor. We're just using the armor as like an extra shield. That's smart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? Yeah. You could tell there's like a door that's uh, right above like midway you can see how it's a different color edge right there gotcha. yeah there's a door okay well the thief's not going to be listening at the door right now um but um is there any writings on the door uh no oh no writings and it doesn't really appear to be locked or anything okay well, Gru, shall we, um, do you want to have the armor open the door? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, this passage continues down this way, too, as well. I don't know. Okay, right? Yeah. So, when you open the door, this is what you get to see. Oh. Lovely. There's four more of these guys, and they start making their advance to you. Oh, the hell! <laughs> I'm gonna turn them again. These are not the same guys. Oh, go ahead. You can turn them. You have to individually turn each one. Gotcha. Okay, I got to get over a ten. Right. Did not. That's a nope. natural one. That would be <laughs> bad. Yeah. Go ahead. A twelve. A twenty. Okay. They cancel out then. And a 17. I'm going to call them all turned. You just had to get 10 or higher. The one cancels out with the 20. Oh, wow. So these guys are going to go back. They are going to... Uh, oops, sorry. They are... Uh, my token. I'm move this guy. They move back to the furthest part of the room, and they're all hissing, and they're shielding their eyes from you. Or what remains of their eyes, I guess you might say. It's one of those is, things. Is there anything of value in this room, it looks like? You can't. Uh, honestly? You can't tell. You can't really tell. Yeah. Unless you want to go in there and start pushing zombies around and see what they got. Yeah, but there's nothing like, there's there's there, there's no, there's nothing on the floor. There's no chest. There's no, there's no. No, it's just, like, just, it's like a hall, it looks like a trap. Yeah, it's just four zombies. Yep, yeah, okay. We close the door. All right. We closed the door. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Nice. Let's, let's continue on. Now, there's a door in front of you. Yeah. Right here. I don't know if you can see my cursor. Yeah. I can take the laser. Here we go. Right here's yeah. a door. This passage continues this way. I'm, get, I'm thinking that all these doors are just going to have these little zombies in them. Eventually, um... 
Hmm. Okay. And Greg's in the back with the torch. Maybe the torch should be up front. Okay. Um, well, Gru, shall we open up the next door? Yes. All right. So when AC opens this door? Yeah. It opens this way. You see the passage now is moving up this way. And sure enough, more. And the passage now bends and it turns to go this way. Up to here and there's a door up this way. All right. And more zombies, right? Yep. Oops, sorry. I didn't do that. I, it looks like I put the fog of war back on that. I didn't want to do that. Sure. Okay. Yeah, they're going to start making their advance to you fairly quickly. All right. But Dale's going to do something. Better do Dale's going to try turning them right now. All right. He's got to do five of these guys. I know. It's not going to happen. I don't know. 13. That's one. Turn. A six. That's a miss. Miss. A 19. Turn. Turn. 14. Turn. turn. 11. Awesome. Turn. Only one's coming. All right, so we'll put him and the guy in the front. Okay. Uh, he's clearly going to have to attack Mr. AC, all right? Yeah. What's your armor class? Uh, he's like 16, isn't he? It, we don't know. We just, we just know his armor. He's a suit of armor, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, a it was 17. Seven, right, so, no, yeah, it's 16. So he's got so he's his armor class is 16. This thing has like maybe 10 hit points, okay? The only thing about it is like he could take hits, but he's really bad at dishing them out. He has a minus on his hits. If you can imagine, it's just a suit of armor, right? So this thing's going to try to claw at it, and whoa! Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So this thing jumps on top of the suit of armor and starts ripping the plate. Actually, we can see what it does. So if we're going to try to use this thing, it's a D6. Let's see what it does. I, I, I'm curious. I haven't used this table yet. All right. So let's right. hit a D6. Let's see what happens to this thing. Oh, two. It's a two on that thing. Oh, oh minus two. Okay. So he's down AC. to uh, an AC of 14, right? Yeah. Okay. That's that's what happens with him. So basically, he rips one of the front plates off of the actual suit of armor. Oh, so wow. now it has an AC of, in this case, it would be 14. It jaws attack. So, uh, in fact, AC gets to go first. He's slow. He's going to get a minus four in his rolls, but he could probably hit a zombie. There's nothing much to him. Go ahead. Have fun. So, Bruce, at your roll. Got to roll a, you got to roll a 10 on this. You should be able to. But, oh, but he's got a minus four. You got to roll 14 on Gru. Gru's got to roll 14. What's well, the armor class has got to roll 14? Yeah. Okay. He oh, he does it. Okay. He hits it. Nice. He has a, didn't you give me your old axe? Yeah. You gave your other axe. So roll a. Is it at one d eight? Roll one d eight for damage on this thing. Isn't it one? Huh? Yeah. Okay. I think it's just one d eight. Yeah. He doesn't get strength bonuses and all that stuff, unfortunately, because he's just a seal armor. Okay, four hit points with the damage. Let's Wait, no, this. actually, I rolled a one d twenty. Oh. There we go. Seven hit points. Oh my god, that's actually mm -hmm. pretty good. Nice. Right? He cuts an arm off this beast. It just falls to the ground. Pretty good for a suit of armor, I must say. Right? <laughs> the All thing's right. howling, and it, 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 its bottom jaws missing, and it looks really gross, right? So now we're up to, I guess it'd be, Gru, you're up in the front. And yeah. Dale's going to hit over top. But go ahead, Gru. Your D, D20 roll. Oh! Nice. <laughs> roll for damage on that. Seven. Five? What's all your yeah. bonuses? I have plus two. No, plus two? What's your strength? Wait, no, I'm looking at Greg. Oh. Plus one. No, it's got... You, do you have a magic axe? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't know if we if we wrote that in our characters yet, John. Oh, you didn't? Because we just picked him up. But right. yeah, I think his axe is plus one. And your and strength is plus one. one. Okay, so he, that's actually a seven. Yeah. Would you like to describe the kill of the undead? Uh, 
lung closet. Uh, I don't know. I just attack it, and it just crumbles. <laughs> it crumbles to dust under your blow? That's awesome. So as, as it happens, Mason, you wind up put this on your character sheet right now, okay, buddy? You want to put down that it's a... Um, you have to put in that it is a plus one battle axe, right? So it's 1d8, and your strength bonus, I think, is a one, isn't it? Yeah. So you get a, you get a plus two on your hits, okay? And you do have a plus one suit of armor. So what's your armor class? 18. 18, okay, right. So making sure you put that in there. Write down you have a plus one suit of armor. In case something yeah, bad I, I have. Okay, all right, cool. So, uh, yeah, so you guys decimate this little guy, and he is now, uh, how would you say, out of play. He's gone. Nice. The other guys turn around, and they're retreating into the corner, scared of you. Okay. If you look at the way this thing's set up, okay, let's go back to the Shmeppy. There is a door up here on the top, right here. Okay. Well, let's make our way to the door. Um... But let's do this in a way that's smart. Um, the armor will stay over here. Um, well, we'll put Callus over here. I guess Greg can ruin. Um, Dale will go to the door because right. he's probably going to be undead. So, we, is the door locked? No. Oh. We open it. Okay. see a creature that's in the corner with um how would you say just matted hair all messed up looking smells like the undead except it's a little more movement on this one than a zombie a little bit more movement than a zombie now you've seen these guys really not moving and you walk upon it right so this it's is a kind of making breathing sounds and such and it's kind of wheeled up on the ground uh I'm sensing ghoul. Um, I'll try to turn it. All right. What's it take to turn a ghoul on you? Oh, um, it, it it takes an 11 out of 20. Okay, let's see how you do. Go ahead. All right. Oh, 15. All right, it stays in the corner, right? Yeah. Scared of your magic, right? And it's like... <sighs> It's making lot, all sorts of noise in there. It's kind of doing its thing, right? Yeah. It's a little bit of a mess. But there's nothing else in there. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, Mason, I think we might have like done this dungeon backwards. I think we were at the really good stuff before. <laughs> okay. Um... We close the door. <laughs> um, we leave the uh, the ghoul in there, and there's no other way out of there, right? So, um, well, we didn't check for secret doors, but anyway. Um, okay. Well, we'll go out this way and close this door. Okay. Interesting. All right, so we got zombies and ghouls and some wicked undead thing up there that's buried in a, in a coffin. Um, okay, so what else is on this in this passage? Well, it kind of goes down. <laughs> I 
All right. It's eventually got to go to that other passage that we were on. So who's who are you sending down there? Oh, um, you got Greg. Well, we're going to have the armor in front of us, and then Dale and Gru will be one step, well, okay. five steps behind them. So when, quote unquote, the armor class, the armor class yeah. AC steps on a pressure plate, all the doors open. Oh. And all the zombies start to move towards you. But we just turned them. Yeah, but once out of sight, they don't see you no more. Oh. Yeah. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> all right. You guys close the door so it loses its thing. Can, yeah. Can I, could, could I have the armor step on the pressure plate again? Sure. Would that possibly... It doesn't do anything. Okay. All right. Well, Dale will try to turn them all. <laughs> I got to roll. Um, cause the, it's, so the zombies and the ghoul are coming. All right. And the other three that we already turned. Oh my goodness! All right. <laughs> well, I mean, the idea was just supposed to. Well, I don't know. You set the armor class in. This is where, this is where it's good to have a thief. But he wasn't there, was he? Now, no. He's too busy taking a nap. Yeah, he's 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 asleep. All right. So can so, I start turning things? Dale, you're gonna have to turn zombies in the direction of which you're pointed. Does that make sense? All right. Because so some of these are not going to see you, so they're just going to converge. So you're gonna yep. find which group are you going to want to try to turn at what time? Okay, I'm going, I'm going. To, I'm going. I'm gonna let you do a batch turn on this because this is a lot of work. Sure. It's gonna to be too much for me to keep track of. So you're gonna have several groups coming at you, right? Sure. I'm gonna so, first turn the ones that are next to Dale and Callus. Dale and Callus. Yeah, right. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna first um, try these four here. It's too funny how you walk in backwards on a on a trap, and then yeah. all of a sudden you set the trap off. You're like, oh yeah, that would have been kind of smart, right? So, uh, okay, right. So you're going to do these guys in the back first, right? Yeah. So you're going to be able to make one turn before uh, these groups are going to attack, Actually, and then you try next round. You can make, but you cannot be attacking and turning. So this is going to be weird, right? So, do your yeah. turn. See if you turn these jokers. Go. I got you. Four of them, right? No, you. Yep. That's a miss. No, you just do it once for the whole group. Oh, I got you. Sorry. I thought you it was turned. one more time. Then, yeah, I missed. So this did not work. They're actually all going to be converging on you right now. So yeah. the palace is in the back. These guys are going to go after two on you from behind, Dale. Are you one in the front? Or how is this working? Da it's Dale and Gru that are you must up. be pointed that direction. This is from behind. Them. Yeah. Okay. This is, yeah, you guys are like in a big trap now. Yeah. I can get rid of that wall. This is sucks. I don't know what that edge there. I'll take that out. Boom. Okay, right? Yeah. So let's start from the top here. I'm going to um well, let's go grab that token. So the first one is here's Greg. Here's Gru. There's a bottleneck here, so these two can only attack you. So let's attack Greg first. We're just gonna make it we're gonna go clockwise this way around. Does that make yeah. sense? So, actually, I might as well start with Gru first. Gru, this is going to attack you. Ready for this? Boom. Ready? Missed. This is for Greg. Miss. Right? No, I'm, I'm trying to attack you first. Let's go back to the thing. So now, those two guys have done their turn. This one's on Callus, and this yep. one's on Dale. So, Callus, this one's on you. Yep. Does that hit you? Callus's AC is, yeah, is a 12. Oh, thank God. It missed. He's fine. Right. Okay. And then this one, of course, would be on Dale. Okay. So they're flailing about trying to punch you, right? Mm -hmm. uh, now we have this one and this one. So one's going to go on AC, and this one's flanking you from behind. He gets a plus two on his hit. Okay. So I'll do this one for Dale first because you're missing from behind. 
That's it. Ooh. Here's a D6 crit. Let's see what hell happened here. Wait. One. Oh. The one on the crit table says roll for an additional attack. Oh, he gets a plus two on this one too as well. So he gets damage on the first one and he misses the second one. Nice. So he is going to do six, seven hit points with the damage? Right. That sucks. What are you at? I, I um, he, he is currently at 18, so he lost seven, so he's at 11. Whoa. Really? Yeah. He never healed up from the shadows. <gasps> uh, okay. All right. So he missed the additional attack. Now we're into uh, the other guy, which would be on the AC. And that's a miss. Y'all's turn. Okay. So basically, we skipped the initiative roll. It's just kind of a surprise roll. So they kind of went first kind of thing, except for your, I'm letting you do one turn, right? Because you guys, this was unexpected. All the doors open and they charge you. <laughs> but now, as you can see, this thing's set up a certain way. You guys can decide how you want to strategize as far as fighting these things. Obviously, you you got a big front. You got, I mean, they're from all directions. I don't know how you want to do this. I think, well, I think we're actually in the best possible place we can be right now with, um, I say, um, Gru, um, kill the guy in front of you. Greg, kill the guy in front of you. Dale will swing at his guy um, or one of those two guys. Well, and, Dale, he'll uh, take a turn at turning. He just can't turn that group again. You can try turning these guys. Oh, these guys. Oh, Dale. Uh, Dale can try. He can turn. turn this group, but he can turn like this group. Okay. And they're not All even right. in it yet. They're going to be coming in the next round. So if you move them, they're going to get in the way of these guys moving. I'm just. I'm just giving you an idea what you can do. I got you. Okay. Well. Well. If 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 Dale can try turning again, he's he will he will try turning the um, group. Uh, he can't turn the one he tries. So he'll 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 try turning these guys. All right. So he has his, he still has his holy symbol out. So we're going to let him go first because it's just him turning and just gotcha. saying some prayer. So we're going to have some fun here. Let's see how he does this. So he's got to beat, what is it, 10? A 10. Okay, go ahead, roll it. 14. Oh, okay, cool. So he turns this batch of dudes and they are going to start moving, how would you say, backwards away from the situation. Maybe they'll clump, they'll clobber up those other people. Right. So now, who's who's the dex? Who has the highest dex right now? Unfortunately, Cal. it's Callus. He's the yeah. um, the magic user. Um, and I know this sounds like a um, a crappy thing to do, but um, Callus is going to cast a shield spell. <laughs> it's not a crappy thing. He's a magic user. That's, that's fine. What he, that's what he needs to do. Okay, cool. He's sh he's shielding himself up, which is very smart in this situation. Yeah. Cool. And who's next? Would be. Uh, then it's going to be Gru. Gru, you're up, bud. I assume you're going to okay. hack the guy in front of you. Yeah. What's Eight. your bonus? I have... Plus two? Plus one. No, plus your axe. Well, I get a bonus to hit, too. Your strength. Don't you have a plus one of your strength? Yeah. Plus your axe is two, so it's ten. You hit the thing. Good roll for damages. Oh, One D eight okay. add. Seven. Nice. Nice. Eight hits of damage. Nine points of damage. Nine. Yeah. Cool. Because he has nice. it's a plus one axe and plus one strength. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start numbering these things so you guys can see who's been, who's been hit who hasn't. So this is number one. Oh, I can't number? Oh, that's too funny. I didn't know you guys can't do that. That's cool. What? What? It's a group. So lesson learned, Mason. When we turn these guys, we should just go ahead and kill them while they're scared of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is a, so there's like nine hit points down on number one. Who's next on that list? Was it Dale? Or was it um, Dale? Greg? 
Dale is Greg's next because Dale used his turn in the beginning to tur turn people. That's right. That's right. Okay, Greg, your turn, buddy. Seven plus three. That would be a ten. Nice. Roll for damages, my friend. Four. Two Four? Plus two. What's his strength? Thirteen. Thirteen. Plus, you could, one. plus one. It's a plus two sword, right? Yeah, it's yeah. plus two sword. So it's so five should, get, should be five points of damage. Nice. Does it make sense? Five? five? Yeah. It's five. Oh. There's five hit points on number number two here. Okay. So, Mason, where do you want to move the armor guy? Mm. Can we have him switch place with, with Callus? I don't know. Yeah, maybe we can't do that. They're too bottled up. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if, I don't know. Can the armor guy, can um, AC make an attack on number one? He's around the corner. He can't get to him. Yeah. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Do you want to, um, the armor guy to, um, go attack one of those guys that are running away. <laughs> but then those other four guys might jump on him. <laughs> but he could do that. Or he could block the hallway. If the other guy's coming through, at least he's going to be ready for him. Yeah. So, Gru, what do you want to do with your man? I guess I'll just have him go over here to attack them. So you're going to come behind? All right, so it's an attack from behind? Yeah. Okay. So he has a minus four on his roll, but now it's a minus two on his roll because he gets a plus two. He's coming from behind. So go roll a d20. It's just minus two on your roll. Go ahead. Nice. Oh! Hit! Roll one d8. Clobbered him. Two. Two. Good enough, right? Draws blood. Alright. Oh, okay. So three has a minus two on it. Okay, cool. We're at the top. Now they're going to make their flailing attack. Does that make sense? Yep. All right, here it comes. So looking at the top of the order. So Gru, one is going to start whacking on you. Here we go. Ready? This. This Three. one's for Craig. That's going to be a miss. The next one around the corner. I guess this is Kaus. Kaus, what's your armor class now? It's now Neelix. 15. That's fine. Good on you. Nice. And then obviously we're down to Dale. That's a nice. miss. Uh, the one that you just attacked with the armor, it just hit the guy. So the thing turned around and it has made a smash hit on him. Six hit points on your armor. Oh. Is that armor still together? How much does he had? How much did he have before? The. He already took a hit. You got a plate ripped off him for six hit points. I think he's down. I think the armor's damaged. Okay, so and I think it put the gem falls out. You gotta go pick it up. Pick it up when you get done. I think your uh, your armor of man's gone for now. Okay. Just find out if I put it in like a zombie or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Throw it in there. Don't forget to pick your gem up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now you're having uh you guys, you're up for your deal. Go. All right. So, um, okay. Well, then it, it would be. Oh yeah, Dale. Dale's gonna. So I can't turn. 
I could try turning the group that's on Gru and Greg, right? Right. Yes. All right. I'll try that. All right. Let's see how you do, bud. Did not do it. Seven. All right. Sorry. So, so now we're back to uh, the attacks. Yeah. So, Gru, you're going to go on number one? Go, boy. Yeah. Seven. That plus what? Two. I don't think. That's it. That's a miss. Great. Great, sir. That's a hit. Go for nice. damage. Five. Right. Three. Plus three is eight. All right. Two is gone. Two is taken out. Good job, Greg. What a yeah. friend. Nice. All right. So then it's uh, Callus. Sure. Callus will... Um, the, probably the best thing he could do right now... Um, well, no, that staff is gone. The snake staff is gone. Um, all right. Well, um, he's attacking with his uh, dagger. Um, let me roll. All right. Let's see how you do. Ah, I missed the five. Crap. Dale. No, Dale just went. Dale turned. Yeah, it is his turn. And we lost Armor Boy. I'm okay. All right. Yeah. So, wow. Okay. So they're back into it. Just kind of looking at what's happening here. These guys are now going to try to push through. There's a bottleneck. They cannot. They're kind of jammed up between these the guys trying to rush away and they're trying to do their thing. Mm -hmm. They're kind of stuck. So this guy's obviously all these cats are moving down here. They're all kind of coming in to do their thing. Here we go. All right. So uh, one on Gru. Here we go. Ready? That's a miss. One on Greg. That would be a miss. One on Callus. Thank That's God. Yeah, because now it's 15. That's uh, Gru. Dale. Dale took a hit. Oh, my God. Well, wait, Dale's 18? Yeah, his, yeah. his AC is 18. Only one hit point. Oh, nice. You're lucky this time. Jeez, Lord. He's getting yeah. hit a lot. What is the deal? I don't know. They don't like yeah. it. All right, cool. All right, so now we're at the back. You guys are starting it off. Dale, you're allowed to turn that group now that you missed the first time with. Okay, I'll try it. All right, go yeah. ahead. Try to tell me. turn them. Did not do it. Damn it. All right, okay, well, it is what it is. Group, your turn. Got the guy in front of you. Miss. Great. Miss. It. Yeah, go for Wait. it, Greg. Oh. Greg, that's a hit. Yep. That's the guy in front of you. Roll for damage. Eight plus three, 11. Nice. Three, 11? Wow, okay. He's number two now. Let's go here. Two. So number two's down 11, just so you know what's going on. You pick your battles accordingly. Wow. Okay. Mm. So next is uh, Callus. Callus, um, swing with my dagger again. Let's see what happens. How do we do? We got a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. That's what we did. Oh no! You could roll a six and you're fine. It could be. I doubt it. It's going to happen. So okay. you want me to roll or do you want to roll? I think it's more fun when you guys roll to see your fate. So let's just see what happens uh, here. Good. Roll. All right. I'll roll. A five. five. Which means? Drop the weapon, lose next round battle. So he drops his dagger. Yeah. He's got to pick it up. It's on the ground. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right. It's probably the close hit ally for maximum damage. Yeah. That would they, suck. That would suck if he killed, if he killed Dale. <laughs> he killed his own man, so that's what makes it funny. <laughs> but he's okay. Usually right. that happens. The first one, I look, there's, this is good. 
Okay, yeah. that nothing happened. This is a normal fumble. Yeah. So this is a horrible fumble, horrible fumble, and this is like one where if you have a magic weapon, you yeah. beat him to submission or something, right? Gotcha. Ah, so he loses a round, but he's yeah. got his. He's got a spell on. How long does this spell last? Quite a bit, actually. So he should. It says forward. two turns. That's twenty minutes. Yeah. Oh, he's plenty fine. So now we're into uh. We're back to the next group, right? Yep. So, uh, Gru, this guy's on you. Miss. Greg. Miss. Callus. Miss. <sighs> right. Oh, one. I thought it's a 14. Oh, 15. That's right. Yeah, it's a 15 AC. Oh, Dale. One. Miss. Nice. Right. Okay. There's, there's your situation. Now we're back to top of the order. Dale. You can make an attempt at turning. Do you want do you, Mason? Should I continue turning to turn, or should I just pull out the warhammer? Turning, uh, like 50 50 shot of at least four of these guys moving away. I think turning would be better. <clears throat> all right, because so, it could get more. All right, so if I can't, I can't turn the guys in front of me. No, now, you got right? a guy on the other side. Yeah, so I can, I can try these guys. Yeah, you sure can. All right, I'm trying them. Right. So you're you're trying to turn. I did it? Thirteen. Turn these guys. Would you get? Got a thirteen. Oh, sweet! It's about time that thing worked. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. So at that point in time, all these guys start moving away from you. Right. Nice. Yeah, they're making their run. And then, ah, uh, Rue, Dale, Greg. You don't want to hit them when they're running because then they could turn around and re-engage you. So we're back here to Callus. Oh, but he dropped his thing. Yeah, but 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 for Callus's turn, can he, he some, what? Yeah. Can he basically um well I don't know if I I don't know if he can do this, but can he move this way? Like or is it too much of a bottleneck? Can I move past Greg and Dale? I think it would be very hard in that space. Uh, yeah. They're probably going to make an attack if you move without any, But they're going to make an attack anyways. I mean, yeah. I mean, you could turn around and move, but they're going to make an attack, but then you'll be on the other side of it. Yeah. Well, let me attack. Just, yeah, do it. But this guy gets to make an attack. That's it. It's going to sure. happen anyways. Might as well move uh, yeah, over, I get right? you. So he's going to – Callus is going to move over to here. All right. That guy misses anyway, so it's no big deal. Nice. So yeah, he's over here. He's fine. Okay, and then uh, obviously this one's going on Dale. Um, right. so we're gonna yeah. move this guy here. We're gonna move this guy in here. And obviously this guy's gonna try to clobber Dale. So yep. we'll see how this works. Uh, Dale, for some reason you're getting beat up today. Mm. He's a miss. And obviously the other guy that now got in position is gonna make its turn. Miss. So all nice. those guys missed. Nice. Okay, cool. So we're back to the top of the order. So Gru and Greg. So just to let you know, Gru, you can make a hit. Dale can make a hit. Ray can make a hit. You guys can all hit things. Dale, yeah. of course, you're you got one of two choices, or you could try turning this group again. Um What do you think, Mason? Turning or just pull out the warhammer? We still got this group coming up behind the, on the bottom, maybe. Turn. All right, we'll go for the turn. 50-50 shot. Got to roll better than a ten. Fourteen. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. So at that point, uh, these guys start to make their depart. Don't touch them once they start walking away. Yeah. This is going this this way. All right. At this point, these guys have made their way around. They're coming in this way. Okay. And since you've been out of view of these things, these other guys in the back are now down here, around mm-hmm. the corner, away from you. Right. So you got four more coming at you. All right. 
you're going to reposition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got these guys coming up. So you got Greg, we got Gru. How are we doing this? All right. Um, Let's roll for initiative. Obviously, there's some time for them to move about. So yeah. I'll roll 1d6. I rolled a one. You guys automatically go first. Go ahead. All right. Um, you guys decide who's doing what. Well, um, I'm going to try turning them. Smart. Hold it up and say some nice things. Yeah. Might in well. the name of Moradin, flee, you filthy beast. 18! <laughs> <laughs> the turning thing worked pretty good towards the end. It was a little bit to get it going, but now it's oh like my gosh. doing its thing. That's <laughs> why you have a cleric. <laughs> Maybe a lot of pain here. Okay, they all make their run. They're going back into the hole. All right, they're out of your way. Wow. That was gruesome. That was very, very gruesome. You should do an assessment on how much damage this is. It's been pretty rough here. Okay. Yeah. It's been pretty rough. Yeah, it's very rough. All right. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you guys something because it's pretty interesting. You guys did this backwards, but let me show you what it was supposed to do. Okay. Sure. Because it's kind of interesting, but you guys kind of did your thing here. Watch. So you're supposed to come here, and. I was going to have you roll 1d6 to see which door opened. Sort of weird. Mm -hmm. And then suffer the consequence. So all the things that say traps, they were just, the doors open and zombies come out. Right. Right? So it's got you roll one or two, and then this happens, right? Four, five, six, you're okay, right? So it's kind of like this thing, or four, five, six, you're okay, but if you roll one or two, then zombies come. It was like this weird thing, but you guys kind of like went backwards. I didn't expect you to go this way. <laughs> it made it really cool. But that's kind of how it goes, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like a. It was sort of, I like kind of like the way you guys did. He came down here, and obviously, I knew what was going to happen because you put the armor class in front. Right. You just step on something. You're, so what happens? Like you go to here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So four, five, six. If you step on the plate, yeah. Doors. You know, one, two, three. Step on the plate. Bad stuff happens. All the traps open, and they all start moving towards you. Right. The thing about it was like this is this is because this is the only one that's a 50 50 after that it partitions out but you guys <laughs> waited to the end it just kind of happened i mean just like it's sort of funny when you think about it i i, I had a good laugh that's all i care yeah so yeah you guys can move towards uh what would be yeah. that way yeah we're gonna um we're gonna go out here okay um right and um oh wait a minute before we do that we're gonna go down here, and Gru's gonna get his gem. Ah, oh, see, somebody's looking yeah. out for Gru. Yeah, pick up your gem off the floor. Sorry, it's yeah. the model piece of uh, armor right there on the ground. Nice. Okay. All right. Got so the we, gem. We get his gem. Callus also picks up his dagger. Smart. All <laughs> right. You're a good. You pay attention in this game. <laughs> um, can't think. Of, and. There's no reason to go chase these zombies down. I don't think they've got anything. We I, we may have to go back into that crypt at some point, uh, Mason. I just all right. So if we if we get back up in formation with Gru in the front, and then well, actually Gru and Dale in the front because they can, uh -huh. and Callus and Greg. Um, so there's a door here. Yeah. And is this back into that main hallway? Uh, very well played. Yeah, you come back. You're here. This is the door. That's what I thought. Okay. All right. So. We've got a problem, Mason. Um, we're hurt. Um, and we still have the under depth of this thing to go investigate. And we've got two really big bad rooms. Um, what are what are your hit points, Mason? Where, where, where are you at? Greg has eighteen, so he's at four, and then Rue has twenty-three. 
Nice. All right. Well, you know, Dale can do a a, a cure light wounds on himself, and then we can try this going down these steps. So what's Dale at? Dale is hurt bad. Dale is ten out of twenty nine. Wow. And Callus, what's he at? He's at twenty two. Twenty two out of twenty seven. Uh, Lambleon is waking up right now. Oh. What happened? His hand hurts really bad. Oh, my hand! Where's where, my sword? <laughs> oh, he, missed, he missed all the fun. He has no idea what's going on. Um, oh, Dale has an idea. Um, can the paladin do his heal wound thing on Lanweon's hand? I guess that's a question. You know, when when he does the heal thing, but if he's holding the hands, can does it can it can it heal the hands? Uh I will let that be a D6 roll. And the lower you go, the better you are. Oh. Try for low. Try you want to try it, Mason? Is he still there? I think so. Mason? Okay, sorry, I was muted. Okay, oh, that's all right. So, <laughs> so um, rolls with six. <laughs> Okay, so he holds his hand and it, it gives him two hit points of healing. Yeah. So it brings Lanway up to 20 hit points. Yeah. But his hand is still hurt. It's all throbbing and he's it's not very dexterous in his hand. He's doing this. Uh, he feels a little goofed up right now. Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, he can well, still do this stuff. He's going to lose his dexterity bonuses on doing anything. Yeah. As far as picking locks and doing whatever it is, he's just not going to be able to have it because his hand's injured. His, his good hand's injured. Yeah, and it makes perfect sense. Well, um, Dale's going to try... Well, Dale will try healing him with the Cure Light Wounds, and then Dale will also do Cure Light Wounds on himself. No, he's got he's got 20 out of 22. Oh, yeah. So he's pretty Lay good. He's pretty good. He's not hurting. Yeah, I got you. Okay, so... He just, so, needs, he just needs to rest. So gotcha. he's just... Okay, he's just kind of goofed up a little bit, you know. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. So so Dale will do cure light wounds on him on him on himself. Okay, fair enough. How many um, times? How many spells do you have? He has three first level spells per day. Okay, he has and I haven't day. used them because the dad said not to. No, put them. he said not to. So yeah, you can have your fun. Go ahead. Well, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try at least one cure light wounds and see if that gets me up to. Something decent. So it's one d six plus whatever you plus one. Is that it? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah I think one it's six plus one. All right. Oh, that's two. bad. Two points. We better do it again. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do it again. Five. Nice. That's, that's six, six. Seven. Eight. He's got eighteen. Yeah. Okay. He's got well, one left. Yeah, but let's but let's but let's save that that one. All okay, right, this is this is your hit point count. Lamweon's got twenty. Bruce got twenty three. Callus is twenty two. Yep. Eighteen for Dale and eighteen for Greg. Okay. Yep. All That's right. Kind of All right. Okay. Well, um, it is. 915 I I can play this longer but I just didn't know if this seemed like a good stopping point because we're either we're either about to go disturb two really big bad areas or we're gonna go down in the depths what do you guys want to do you want to take a break here or you want to go down the steps we probably should stop here because I don't know it's a school night Does that make sense? but yeah. this was uh, lots of fun you guys are pretty good at this going backwards and screwing up my best plans. Of course, that's what D&D's all about. <laughs> I really well, thought you could just circle around and come back, and then we go, oh, this sounds fun. But it was kind of, I kind of like the way you did it, though. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. I don't know. I'm really, really curious about that that circular room, but... Um, it's it's going to kill you, right? Curiosity kills cats, right? Yeah, but we'll... 
we'll, Mason, I tell you what we can do. We can, we, we, next time we can go down those steps and see what's down there and then um, come back and um, disturb the beast. <laughs> Whatever that is. All righty. Have fun, fun, guys. All okay. right. Yeah. Have fun. You guys have a good night. Bye. Yeah. Night. Bye. 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 Bye.